So they finally upped their game. And until now, I haven't even considered doing a video on this channel about Goal Zero power stations. They just have not been keeping up with the big name brands like EcoFlow and Blue Eddy. Simple as that. Well, that changed with this unit and they've made some impressive strides. They're up there with this unit with the other big name brands and what they're delivering in their power station solar generators. But I still feel there is quite a bit to improve on and I'll tell you why. Now, before we jump into the specs on this thing, Goal Zero sent me this unit free of charge, full transparency. Just like every other video I do, I'm gonna give you honest feedback, give you the facts. I'm not gonna to try to sway you either way into purchasing or not. I'm just gonna give you what I have and we're gonna move on with our day. Now, for those of you new to this world, the power station, solar generator, backup power, off-grid power, RV power, you're gonna have a lot of options. This is just one of them. So what's in the box? You're gonna have the main Yeti Pro 4000. And you're also gonna have a roller cart, which you're definitely gonna need, and a power cable to juice this thing up from the AC from your home. Now, the main highlights about this specific unit is it's a nearly a 4,000 watt hour power station, power source. It's technically at 3,993, close enough. That's why they call it the Pro 4000. It's easy to remember. That's a lot of juice. Awesome capacity. I think that's the perfect amount of power that you're going to need in a power outage, a typical one. Uh, but the cool thing is you can add on to it. There are expandable batteries that allow you to double, triple, or quadruple even the power storage capacity in this thing. So very cool. A lot of the main brands are doing that with expandable batteries. This also happens to be a lithium iron phosphate battery. And that's really going to be in my opinion, the latest and greatest. It's going to be a heavier battery, but it's going to allow you to get more cycles out of the battery itself. So for off-grid power, or you have a lot of power outages, or maybe you just want to throw this in the back of a truck and use it for off-grid power tools to build an off-grid cabin, this is going to allow you to have a ton of cycles. You'd be able to use this every day for the next 10 years and still have juice in it. This specific unit is rated for 4,000 cycles. And you're gonna see on other brands, 3,500 to 4,000 cycles before you hit 80% capacity. So that's gonna be a better fit for something like off-grid power. The battery doesn't just stop working after 4,000 cycles, which is from zero to 100%. That's just gonna get it down to 80%, approximately 80% of the total battery capacity it has now. Now, Goal Zero, if you go to their website, reminds you that this thing is rainproof, which does not mean waterproof, it's rainproof. You could stick this out in the rain and uh, it wouldn't damage the unit. Now, how much rain? Is it, a, is it a massive rainstorm? Probably not, but based on the design, it looks like it could take some rain. It could take some of that and, and repel it off, but it is not waterproof. What I really like about the unit is, is that the significant improvements from previous versions of this or its predecessors the Yeti Pro is what you would want to look for if you're serious about Goal Zero, in my opinion, because the non-Pro versions, they're just not making the cut. This unit with its specs are going to put it right up there with the Blue Yeti AC300. It's actually going to surpass the AC300, which I think is pretty impressive. And that puts it right in line with those higher-end Blue Yeti and EcoFlow products. On the front of the unit, you're going to have two 12-volt 6-millimeter ports, a 12-volt auxiliary power port, an AC inverter with four outlets, and that's 3,600 watt continuous, 7,200 watt surge. So that's gonna power most, if not all of the devices, except for like an AC air conditioner in your home during a power outage, that is a serious amount of power. You're gonna have three USB-A ports at 18 watt max, with three USB-C ports, 100 watt max, and 30 watt max. On the back of the unit, you're going to have an HPP high voltage input of 3000 watt max. That's going to allow you to hook up 3000 watts of solar power. For example, the solar input on this unit is right up there with the big name brands. An eight millimeter low voltage input, you're going to have an AC fast charge. So hooking this up to the wall, you're going to get 1800 watts max. There's also a setting to knock it down to 300 if you just want to charge it slower and take it easier on the battery. You have a 12 volt high power port, a 120 AC inverter, and that AC inverter is what's going to allow you to hook that up to an RV or some of the larger appliances like an electric dryer in your home. The Power Plus port, which according to Goal Zero, is going to allow you to hook this up to their interface that hooks up to your home, the transfer switch. 
so you could hook this unit directly up to the breaker box in your house. It also has an expansion port for use with the Tank Pro 4000, I'm going to show you that in a minute, and a Reunion Auto Lock. And what that is is Goal Zero has a couple of different packages. One of those is a, an escape vehicle kit, I believe it's called, where you're able to hook this up to the car directly. So the warranty on this unit is five years. And really the thing that I want to call out that's going to sway a lot of people away is the weight on this thing. It is an aluminum body. It's tough. That aluminum is going to help dissipate the heat, which is really a great feature. It's more about how they bundled this unit together, the AC inverter and the actual batteries that power the unit. It's very heavy. It's 115 pounds, 125 pounds if you use the rolling cart that comes with this unit. And you're going to need that rolling cart. This isn't something you're going to want to be carrying up and down the stairs a lot. If this is sitting in a single place in your RV or your home or your off-grid cabin and you're not moving around a lot, it's a massive unit. It's a monster unit and it's going to allow you to power a heck of a lot more than some of the other name brands out there. If the weight of this unit does not scare you away or you're not going to be moving it around or the roller cart is just going to be what you need to make it more portable, then stick around because it's about to get a little bit heavier, but it's worth it. Now what you just saw me set up was the Pro 4000, which is the unit we just did the review on over the specs. And then on this unit down here, the one I rolled in, I put this on the roller cart. This is the expandable battery. This is a 4000 watt hour expandable battery, and that's going to double the capacity of the main unit here. So 4000 watt hours plus 4000 watt hours, you've got your near 8000 watt hour battery storage. That is crazy amount of storage. Most homes, I mean, that's going to get you multi-day coverage for power, depending on what you're powering, obviously, fridges, freezers, etc., even your furnace, you're going to get multi-day use out of this amount of power. So this expandable battery is called the tank, rightly named. The thing is massive. You're going to add a significant more amount of weight to this thing. You have to use the roller cart unless you plan on not moving this thing around. Now there's three ways to charge this unit as well, and that's gonna be solar, the car, or the AC from your home. So you're able to plug this thing in, and 1800 watts in is gonna charge this unit. It's gonna take longer to charge the expandable battery and the 4000 Pro, of course. You're gonna to have to double those times, really. But the 4000 Pro being charged from the wall, you're gonna get this thing charged in under three hours. If you hook this up to the max amount of solar it can take, which is 3000 watt input, it's gonna charge under two hours. And if you're hooking this up to your car using the 12 volt um, and the eight millimeter adapter, it's gonna charge in 37 hours. So that's obviously gonna be a significant more amount of time. Now, another cool feature of this unit is like many other of the big name brands, you're gonna have an app that you can use. You're gonna be able to hook this up through either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to the app and you can configure some of the settings in there. Nice feature, it's not a make or break for me. This is a really nice display. It gives you everything you need to know. You've got the input of power into the unit and the output of the power going out into your devices, either through the DC or the AC outlets. Now, what most people are probably gonna end up using this for is backup power or maybe off-grid power. I'm gonna use this for backup. So if I have power outages, which I have multiple a year, I'm gonna be able to just take this, for example, these deep freezers here, plug this in, turn on the AC. These outlet covers are actually pretty good. They stick up and they don't come down. And my freezers are already on, they're already going again. Very clear as to how much of power is going out and it even gives you that little indicator, which a lot of units do, um, how many hours are left of capacity. Because they are freezers and they turn on and then they turn off, they're not just constantly running, that's going to be a lot more time than just that 184, 185 hours that this is estimating. So is this going to be for everybody? No, right? The weight of this thing is going to be uh, very unappetizing for many folks. You're not going to want to have that kind of weight, especially the more capacity you add. Yes, it has a roller cart. Yes, it helps. Um, but unless it's staying in one place, you probably want to think of a more portable 
uh, unit. It's a monster. So there's absolutely people that would rather have a stationary unit and just a heck of a lot more power condensed into fewer devices here. That would be a reason to go with the Yeti Pro 4000. You're not moving it around or you've got people to carry this thing around. The price is another big hit here. This unit here is $4,000 and I'm not seeing any discounts for it. It's $4,000. If you get it bundled with the Yeti Pro 4000 and the tank battery, you're going to be looking at $6,300. So $6,300 for this entire setup here, that's a lot of dough. That's a lot of money. Now, you could look at something like an EcoFlow Pro Delta. You're going to be able to get a 3.7 kilowatt hour battery from that EcoFlow Delta Pro, which is also on wheels. It's a pretty big power station. You're going to be able to get that for $2,600. And that's going to be nearly equivalent, nearly smaller capacity to the Yeti Pro 4000 here. But then you could get also a backup expandable battery very similar to this one here, and that bundle would be $4,899. So $4,900 for nearly the same capacity from a bigger name brand like EcoFlow compared to the 6300 setup here that you're looking at from Goal Zero. So I think they really need to knock the price down on this unit. Maybe they will. Let's see how many they sell. But $6,300 compared to $4,900. That's, that's a significant difference between something like Goal Zero and EcoFlow. So they're probably not too happy me talking about it, but again, I'm giving honest reviews here. If you're a Goal Zero fan and you just want a lot of power in a power station, you want to be able to charge this thing up in, during the power outage with the sun, don't count on it, but it's possible. You could have virtually unlimited power. You get enough sun, you get enough renewable energy in a unit like this. So I hope you liked the video, folks. Out of dozens and dozens and the dozens of companies that are reaching out and saying, please do a review, please do this station review, I'll send it to you for free. I'm not doing nearly as many of those anymore. I know some of you really want me to keep doing them, and I still will, but I'm gonna do them only on the names that I trust, that I have experience with, or that I think are real up and comers and get you the specs sometimes before the units are even released. So you at least have an idea of what the hype's all about if this unit is something that you wanna consider. But with that said, thank you folks. Stay safe, stay practical. I'll catch you on the next one.